Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as we are playing with Germany. Alright, so I went ahead and, and kind of did a compromise here between my laziness and efficiency uh, by taking all of the divisions that were, uh, all the ones that are almost done training, I left in here, and all the ones that aren't, uh, I put them into this army to, to train up uh, for a little bit longer. Uh, so so that I could be lazy and not have to pull all those guys out and put them right back in <laughs> It's not efficient for wasting equipment, uh, but I'm doing it So uh, the other thing I wanted to do is is go ahead and use our, our command power to Level up some of our admirals might as well use it now uh, And I did move some of the capital ships that we had uh, training I moved them out and put them into the other fleet that's not training uh, so let's go ahead and get some some of these admirals uh, changed up here guys or get them uh, leveled up I should say so Herman Bohem is a craven uh, So what we're gonna do for him is we're gonna have him lead uh, Submarines that that's actually a good thing for submarines often they do less damage uh, But torpedoes often do devastating damage if they hit any damn ways, so it's not that big of a deal uh, negative five percent isn't Well, we treat decision chance is really helpful for submarines so uh, we'll go ahead and have uh, him in charge of the submarines and thus we're gonna give him the concealment expert uh, and the retreat decision chance plus 25% here with the smoke screen uh, specialist uh, so that uh, he should be able to retreat very easily as soon as he knows he's in a, a in a situation he'll be able to retreat out of there uh, and then the other one is Gunther Lutjens I don't know probably fucking that up uh, but we're gonna give him the lone wolf uh, trait along with the smoke screen specialist all right, so I think that's it as far as admirals that need to be ranked up. Uh, Dennett's doesn't have uh, anything available to him, so he can't, and he doesn't have anything either anymore. Uh, so yeah, just wanted to level them up while we had that command power available uh, to do so before before the war over here starts. Uh, so one other thing I needed to do, I didn't assign my, I didn't move my planes uh, last episode, so I did move them this one. They they moved over to there now, and I'm also going to give them some tactical bombers because I, I forgot that we could do 400. I don't know. I was thinking it was 300. That was my bad, guys. So we're going to move them over here as well uh, to right there and have them uh, help out here, uh, though they're not moving. They might not be moving because I already moved some, and it causes issues once you have them moving. Yeah, I think we'll have to wait until they they finish moving here. Let me just take a look and see when they get there. 25th of February. All right, so yeah, we won't be able to wait for that. We'll just have to come back to it, try and remember uh, once they get here. All right, so we're defending here. Uh, these guys here coming up this way to kind of help close the gap here. Uh, these tanks will be able to get it done as well. I'd prefer to take Kansas City, though, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, that's a victory point. We'll go ahead and try and grab that up and see if we can't... Uh, Knock these guys out of the war. I, I, like I said, I highly doubt we will be able to, though I'm really considering just bringing a motorized division. In fact, you know what? Let's do that. Let's go ahead and try to see if we can use a motorized division to just quickly take Phoenix and then Los Angeles. And uh, we'll just see how that goes. Uh, it looks like they cut off a division here. All right, well, good job, guys. Surprised. They never do any damn thing right. All right, so let's go ahead and have these guys grab that province, and they'll attack that way. Once they're now cut off. These guys have a lot of difficulty with those two divisions, unfortunately. All right. Got Kansas City. Fantastico. Let's go and grab Springfield up. And let's go out into Topeka. Grab that one. Lovely. And this is going to cut uh, the couple divisions off down here that are pushing forward. Uh, it's going to be super helpful uh, because, yeah, they are starting to take territory very rapidly, actually. Because there's nobody here to stop them. Uh, we can now modify our government. That's excellent. I suppose we can do a political advisor, uh, though I'm not exactly sure which one we'd want. Could always do the silent workhorse just to get the political power going up a little bit quicker. Uh, probably should do the non-core manpower though. Heinrich Himmler. Yeah, non-core manpower is pretty damn useful uh, when you get as you get more and more non-core territory. And we already have the Dutch East Indies, which produce a lot of a lot of manpower. That would be really good actually. And I'm not seeing anything better. I mean, Silent Workhorse, we're already producing a lot of uh, political power. We only have a few things left to get any damn way. So you know what, guys? I think that's the best thing to get right now. Uh, yeah, let's do that. That's going to give us a nice bit of uh, manpower. And plus, partisans won't affect us as much as well. So that's also helpful, I suppose. So we'll get that. Next, we'll probably go after the aircraft designer. Uh, since we're going to be needing that soon. Uh, I don't know how long it'll take for us to get that political power. It's going to take those guys on the railroads forever to get over there. But that's okay. Uh, let's see if we can't cut these guys off. By We'll go this way, actually. And yeah, I'd try and cut that guy off as well. All right, so this guy here is done. Let's go and have, um, let's see, which way do we want him to go now? Oh, he's defending. Never mind. So we'll have to wait. 
I'll have to wait until the defense is at, at the very least up. Also, it looks like these guys are now winning. That's fantastic news. Uh, apparently, we got insufficient resources. All right, let's go and trade with China a bit more then. And yeah, I'm not sure what they're doing here, guys. Stupid stuff, I'm sure. Uh, actually, let's instead of having them backing up, we'll go up around them. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll just have to wait until they finish moving. I don't know what the hell they're doing. You know, we'll just grab that territory up so I'm not just sitting here not doing anything. Oh, they're trying to get Kansas City back. All right, well, we'll go ahead and grab that up. In fact, this guy here can now, now that he's done, we can have him come over here and try and... Actually, it's better to do it this way and try and cut that division off. Uh, these guys are done here. Let's go and see if we can't cut off these guys and go after um, Minneapolis. Although, yeah, it looks like they're backing up from there. Just still trying to do this through taking victory points. I don't know if it's going to be enough. Like I said, if we get that guy over there to take LA, it might be might be enough. Might be able to get it done. So let's go and get this guy cut off here. And these guys are doing their thing. It's hard controlling all these divisions manually, and it's the only way to do it. I mean, you couldn't, you couldn't, uh, you know, allow them to uh, the AI to control. They would never be able to effectively do stuff like this. So there's not really any other option but to control it manually. Uh, but yeah, it can be hard when you got them so far apart. Uh, so let's go this way. And yeah, we'll go this way and then this way. And then try and take Wichita and get behind that division there. All right, and then these guys are going to come over here. Uh, they're trying to reconnect, but we'll attack there and hopefully be able to attack them and get them destroyed. Although, nope, they wouldn't be... Yeah, that wouldn't work. All right, well, whatever. Uh, is that division here? Not quite yet. Let's go ahead and have them retreat because uh, I'm not act actually interested in defending there. And then what we're going to do is just set them up to uh, take territory and see how this ends up working. Uh, in fact, that... Yeah, we'll just have to go this way, actually. Because it looks like they got another division coming over here. All right, we'll we'll look at that once we get there. All right, make sure all of our divisions are currently moving around and attacking and stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and have. Oh yeah, we got to take that first. All right, so we'll take this, get that guy cut off, and then maybe the, we'll go after Minneapolis after that. Uh, and then yeah, this guy's gonna attack those guys. I think he's gonna have some difficulty with it, but that's okay. All right, there we go. We have attacked there. Excellent. Um, hmm. Maybe just to back them up. I think this is exactly what we'll have to do to get them back. Because uh, otherwise, kind of in a... Sh yeah, we're just going to have to attack them that way. It'll be fine. So we got the motorized divisions you know, moving into Arizona. And let's just hope that they uh, can get it done effectively. And fast. That's really the key here. Alright, so let's go ahead and take Wichita. That will cut off that division there. And just really easy in these large fronts like this to be able to do stuff like this. Uh, get divisions easily cut off. So we'll take all this and then we'll get them destroyed. And the AI is just terrible at it, which is why I don't want to give. The, I didn't want to give our ally here, the loyalists, uh, any equipment because I think that they're just going to get them all destroyed, uh, just the way that we're destroying these guys. You can see they they have less and less divisions all the damn time. Uh, and oh, they they reconnected it there. All right, that's okay. Let's go and grab Minneapolis and then we'll we'll just cut both of them off, I suppose. Yeah, they took that back as well. That's a shame. Pretty close to being able to reconnect those guys, so not going well. Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and have these guys attack. I don't know why they're, they're losing so much organization while moving, but yeah, they're, they're losing a lot, unfortunately. All right, uh, let's take a look at our, our training troops. Okay, so these guys are all done. Excellent. So we finally got that completed. Let's take a look at these guys. Yeah, they should all, all be done training now. Hopefully. Yeah, they're all done training. So they're pretty damn close as it was. So just get them all stopping. And then I don't think these guys are done training yet, though. Uh, these ones are. And these ones are. All right, excellent. So we're not losing all that equipment anymore. So that's going to be helpful because we're probably throwing away a lot of equipment with that training. Uh, but whatever. It's fine. It's fine, guys. When do these guys get over here? One day in 23 hours. Taking a little longer than I was expecting. Uh, oh, and these guys aren't coming over this way anymore. All right, awesome. Uh, we'll have to take advantage of that here soon. Uh, just make sure all my divisions are currently occupied and doing something and yeah we actually have a division not doing anything so let's go ahead and have him go this way and attempt to cut these guys off having a lot of difficulty man because they're causing me problems uh trying to get these guys cut off another division though will will help uh make that go a little bit more rapid all right uh so those guys have completed that uh objective to get those guys cut off looks like we had some help from the americans here uh so let's go ahead and have i mean there's not really any key victory points here let's have them help over here because yeah, this is going to take forever to get this done otherwise. 
We do have civilian factories and military factories, so let's go ahead and get those assigned. Uh, let me just take a look at what we're lacking the most. Looks like infantry equipment's in a garbage situation. We're about to go to war with Poland, so I should probably put all uh, th factories into that for right now. As far as our current situation with factories, uh, we're looking okay. I think civilian factories might end up becoming a problem in the future, so we're probably going to need to build some of those. Let's go ahead and get... You know what? I'm not too worried about the Polish Air Force. Nah, <laughs> we're not gonna we're not gonna put a radar station over there. I don't think it's gonna be worth the investment, nor will we have it in time. I don't think. So yeah, I think we're just gonna keep on doing military factories right now, guys. This is what we need. Is there any other 80%? It doesn't look like it. So it's just 70% for now. All right, so that's good. And why is this not constructing? Oh, it's all fucked up. Because we got it building in there. Okay, I see what's going on there. Because we got it building in their land, but they're not, <laughs> their land's not there no more. All right, I see what the hell happened there. Okay, right. so uh, these guys are still training, so we'll let them continue. Yeah, but I see what, what the problem was. Uh, makes sense now. It all makes sense, guys. All right, so these guys are wiping them out still. It's taking them a while to get it done. They're attacking us over here. Uh, we got another division coming over here, though. Uh, and then how's this division doing? Okay, he's there. Uh, so let's go ahead and hopefully they don't cut me off. It does look like they're going to try to. Uh, Phoenix is worth not as many victory points as I was expecting. But once again, we're just trying to get the LA. So what we'll do is we will, because it's worth some, we'll go ahead and grab it up. Uh, and we have a decision available. Permit SS recruitment in the Netherlands. Uh, so let's take a look here. Uh, this will... What does this do? I don't actually know what this, this does. SS under Himmler believes that they should be in charge of recruiting foreign volunteers for the fight against global Bolshevism. Bolshevism. Uh, the Wehrmacht, uh, if I'm pronouncing that right, the fucking German army, strongly disagrees and will not tolerate a par parallel command structure. Pushing either of them too far may have grave consequences. So I haven't played with Man the Guns. I, I think this was added in Man the Guns. I don't know. I don't remember ever playing with this. Uh, last German campaign, of course, that we did was not uh, a fascist one, though, so it might have been in it. So you can see the mood uh, between the SS leadership and our current uh, army uh, leaders. They're both calm. So if we allow this, uh, permit SS recruitment in the Netherlands, I don't know if, uh, I would imagine that would probably push up SS leadership and they'd be happier and the uh, army would not, I would assume. Yeah, I don't know if we want to take the net. I'd love to hear your guys' opinion on that. I'm just going to go ahead and say I'm not want to be notified of right now. And, and let me just let, let me hear what you guys think on that, because I have no idea what that does or how that event goes. I'm a little bit worried about Italy conquering France. Yeah, we need to hurry up and get into this damn war with Poland, man. But i got to finish up this America thing, man. You see, this volunteer shit is just is, is consuming all my damn time, man. Helping everybody else out in their damn wars. It's consuming all of my fucking time. These guys are attempting to cut us off. We might need to attack them to push them back. Which is kind of a shame because not what I wanted to do, but maybe this infantry division can... Yeah, we're going to have to. Uh, we got to attack them. That's kind of a bummer. Kind of feels like a waste, unfortunately. Uh, so these guys are doing their damn thing. Should get there momentarily. And once again, we're just going to go ahead and take all this. It looks like, yeah, we'll be reconnected with the, the port here so they can't even cut us off, which is nice because we actually are cut off right now. Yep, very much cut off. Okay. I uh, wasn't expecting to see that. Uh, so we have another tank division over here. Let's have them come complete this. Because this infantry division would be slow as hell doing it any damn way. Alright, so we'll tack up over this way. And then we'll attempt to grab that province there. And then what we'll do is we'll actually have this guy attack. And this guy pull back. Oops. Damn it. They got there. Shit, because I pulled it back like that. Alright, that's a shame. Let's go and have those guys go this way. These guys go this way. Or, in fact, let's have them go that way. And then we'll try and cut this this division off again. Let's we'll see what he does. All right. What is happening in this area? We have finished this up. Excellent. They're going to take that for us. Lovely. Uh, let's go ahead and try and get these divisions destroyed now. Uh, we'll go ahead and do it. Yeah, we'll just have both of those divisions go over there. You see if there's anybody else or is it just Italy? It's just Italy. Not interested, Italy. All right, so yeah, these guys are gonna grab this up. They're, they have terrible attrition right now because we're in the damn desert, so it's kind of a rough area to be moving through. All right, so these guys have, are completely cut off. Um, when do they get there? Three days? Can I get here in time to then attack them? We can. All right, so we'll go ahead and do that and then attack those guys. I'm not gonna wrap that up. I'll let the AI do that. Uh, let's go ahead and try and see if we can't get behind these guys here. Once again, still trying to get these divisions here cut off so we can destroy them. 
I'm just trying to put this in a situation where there's just not enough divisions for the constitutionalists to even have a chance of winning. All right, so let's go ahead and beeline to Los Angeles, and I'm, I'm hoping that this will, will win the conflict for us because we're pretty damn close, guys. It is, like, really close to getting them out. 92% uh, in L.A. is worth a lot of points. They lost 290,000 to the 190,000 that uh, our side has lost. Uh, so let's go and cut these guys off here. I was going to go after Omaha first, but there's somebody there. He is pretty weak, though. All right, so he's taking care of that for us. Let's go and have this guy wipe him out. Though it doesn't look like he's going to be all that effective at it. Let's just pull it back for a second. When is he leaving? Yeah, we got a little bit of time. Let's get our organization back up uh, before we attempt that attack. And let's attack these guys here. Actually, you know what? They'll be able to retreat, so I'll have to actually come up behind them. Do it that way, I think. I think that's the best way to do it. All right, I feel like there's, yeah, there's some divisions that I'm not using right now. So let's go and have uh, these guys go this way and get across there quickly in the infantry attack right there. Push them across uh, the river and then get those guys wiped out. Though it might all be irrelevant if, if our motorized division ends the war for us here. We did finish up the concentrated industry. Excellent. Uh, let's go after the advanced machine tools now. Getting her done. Uh, any troops train in that don't need to be? No, looks like we're good to go there. All right. Just need to hurry up and get this shit wrapped up, guys. Let's go and attack those guys, get them wiped out. Uh, and this guy can now come over here and attack them. And hopefully they don't get reconnected. It's a possibility. Uh, and now let's go and attack these guys as well. Looks like an American division came over there to help us out. Make sure they didn't take Minneapolis. And we're almost to LA. That is worth 30 victory points, so I think that'll be enough. Just take a look here. That should be the end of it. Yeah, that's the end of it. All right, so we have finished up the Civil War. You are welcome, America. There you go. The Loyalists have won. The Loyalists, though, are not fascists, but they're supposed to go down the, the fascist path. Yeah, they're currently working on that right now uh they're getting the uh, joseph mccarthy which of course makes he's an anti-communist crusader and that'll unlock the decision investigate the opposition uh and then they can do the voter registration act as well so yeah they've won uh the uh, the loyalists have won we'll be getting our volunteers back in uh, two weeks do we want to wait for those so we can move them over here because yeah, we're still training troops yeah we might as well wait we got time guys We've got time. Though, I, like I said, I'm a little bit worried about the situation here. I think Italy will eventually uh, face some serious British invasions, and that's going to change up the situation there a little bit. Uh, do the Polish have any kind of a navy that we got to wear? They got five ships. Okay, I didn't know how many they had. Just want to make sure they're not attack. They don't attack my my ships that are currently uh, training up here. And the loyalists reign supreme. After months of bloodshed and untold thousands of casualties, the Second American Civil War has come to an end. President Douglas MacArthur has declared major combat operations to be over, while some remnants of the rebel government still keep up an effective resistance campaign, or ineffective resistance campaign. Most have either been rounded up in government sweeps or melted back into the civilian population. According to President MacArthur, the war was clearly the work of foreign influences seeking to destabilize and divide the country. In time, he promises those uh, he promises those responsible will be will pay back their debt to the recovering American nation in blood. All right. Uh, so they'll be going fascist soon. And we, uh, I think, are done with all the civil wars we're going to be helping out in. Yeah. Yeah, we did Spanish. We did Spain, China, and America. So yeah, that's all we're going to be helping out for now. Uh, though I almost want to help uh, the Mexicans against the fascists because I really don't want the fascists taking over there. Okay, so yeah, we'll just wait until we get these guys here since we are still training. Because we do have all these guys that still need a lot of tanks right now that are currently training up. In fact, we could even make another adjustment, though. I'm a little bit worried about making adjustments because, uh, and in fact, let's go and deploy all these guys. They're not even, yeah, this is not necessary. Have them doing this this way. Uh, how are we doing on equipment? Do I, can I build any more divisions? Nope, we cannot build any more divisions. Not right now. Not right now, guys. We'll just let them do their thing over here. We'll do one more. One more infantry. Uh, obviously, they don't have the equipment for that, but that's okay. Can't go in and change up. Uh, what are these guys from? Oh, yeah, that's right. I never got rid of these. Let's go ahead and get rid of all these guys. And now that we've done that, I guess we make an adjustment to one of our division designs. Uh, let's do... Let me see. Which, what do we want to do here? These guys are done. That's right. I keep looking at the... Uh, look. Oh, these guys are not done. That's right, but we're not going to make adjustments to them. There's too many adjustments that need to be done. It's the uh, it's the Schneller Heinz that are done. Uh, Pussy Pounds are not done. we got to do them still, but I don't really want to have to train them. But uh, it looks like it's going to be the only thing there is to change besides the mountain troops. 
I guess we can start making adjustments to the mountain troops. Uh, you know what I think I'm going to do so that we can... Yeah, because I don't want them... Yeah, you know what? This is what we're going to do. We're going to remove one of these divisions here. And then put the field hospitals in here. And I think that's all we're going to be able to do, isn't it? Yeah. All right. So that, that works. And I don't think we have any mountain troops. I could be wrong. There is one. Yeah, there's one mountain troop over here. All right. Well, that's fine. We're going to put him into that training army for right now while we wait. And I want to say that was the only mountain troop that I have on this front here. Yeah. All the rest are on that check front. All right, and that allow us to build a lot more mountain troops. Uh, in fact, we could probably, well, we just took all that infantry equipment, never mind. I'm not gonna be able to do that. I lied. Let's just go ahead and do one more so I can get that guy deployed. All right, uh, so almost ready, guys. Almost ready. Uh, there we go, we got Dan Zigger War. Of course, Poland refuses the ultimatum. Uh, and let's do, I don't know, that means we don't get the core now. I never did the befriend China. So somebody was criticizing me for taking this. And I was like, you know, it's not useless because it does give the two military factory offsite military factories, which is helpful for China. And I said, is it the best option that was available to us? Probably not, but I knew I wanted to get it done. And I didn't do the befriend fucking China. This guy's criticizing me for, me for nothing and shit. Cause yeah, I, I was wondering why I would do that before the other ones, uh, but I knew I, I, I'm eventually gonna do it. So yeah, he was criticizing me for just saying that I was gonna do it. Wow, the, the, the dickheads in the comments, guys, I swear to God, like, it's like every single video, there's like two or three fucking assholes in the comments. And he's not an asshole because he was criticizing me for, you know, wanting to take my friend China. He was just acting like an asshole. Just his comment was real, just rude and just ridiculous how many assholes are on YouTube, man. And the larger our channel gets, the more of them we see. Uh, we're just like constant, constantly having some, I think like every day I have like two to three real asshole fucking comments and shit. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, fucking criticized me and I didn't even take the damn thing. That's funny. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, get a national focus so that we can hurry up and get in this war because uh, we have not a lot of time left in the episode. So uh, we could do the integrate war economies here and then I believe that that will, um, let me just see here. Yeah, I believe this will make them a subject, uh, puppets of us. So it's pretty useful to do. Uh, and so I, I imagine we'll probably want to do it and we give them military factories so they get a lot better overall So yeah, we we'll probably want to do that Relatively early here. I don't know. Do they have to be at peace? No, no, okay, that would be kind of odd uh, to make you have to be at peace. We also have the army innovations we can get uh, We can do this one as well uh, though Is that even like yeah, it's not even needed. Yeah, that'd be a waste of time to do that one Yeah, we're not gonna do that one. I'm not giving them Poland uh, or a piece of Poland anyways it does give the non-aggression pact, though, uh, with the, the Soviets. They might give us a non-aggression pact any damn way, though. Uh, we do that right around the Maginot uh, to give us the, the claims against Belgium. We already have a lot of claims we're not really making use of. Let's let's instead go ahead and work on, on uh, getting this integrate war economies done. Okay, so that is completed. Uh, once again, we're just waiting. Just trying to be patient here till we get these volunteer forces and then also to... Uh, Oh, these guys might actually not need to train. Yeah, I don't think they do. Uh, so we know that they refuse. We get the war goal. We still get the core on them. All right, that's awesome. United, the United Kingdom does get war support from that, though, as does France. All right. I guess that's good because then France will be less likely to capitulate here because they are losing against the Italians, man. That is not how I wanted to see that go. All right, well, whatever. Not much to be done about it right now. Uh, so the 11th is when we get those troops back and I do want to make use of them So we will bring them over here. Oh, yes. Where did those planes go that I had over there? I'm sure they probably flew over to One of these air bases. That's them right there. All right, so I think that yeah, that's them And I never did move those tactical bombers. I said I was going to so damn incompetent guys So let's go and get these guys going over here uh, And we're just gonna move all of our planes over there uh, as we prepare for the conflict uh, In fact, we'll move some over here as well and these guys are going here. These guys are still training. Uh, not too worried about the naval bombers right now. Yeah, I'm gonna move those over here just yet. Uh, and then we're gonna get these guys moving as well. Just trying to see, we have to merge these two. Merge those and merge these two fighter wings. All right, uh, let's go and move. I don't know how this, how this exactly looks just yet. And over here. All right, we'll see where they're all at. 
And yeah, we got just a few more days, guys, till we get those divisions over here. Then, of course, they got to get down to the front. I won't wait for planning bonuses. Uh, but yeah, we're kind of getting these guys done as well. And I think we do need one more division over here, by the way. So we should probably move one of these guys over to here. And then I'm also going to give a front here because we want to keep their planning bonus up. So yeah, we'll give them one more division because, yeah, they did need somebody over there. There we go. Volunteer forces are back. Excellent. Let's go ahead and take them uh, under Rommel here and get them doled out because uh, I don't think we'll be using volunteer forces anymore. I don't think we're going to need them. Uh, and then we're just going to place we're just gonna place them probably all into this orange army right here. Yeah, that's exactly what we'll do. And then we can, of course, move uh, divisions, but yeah, there's so that we can get Rommel back, or excuse me, move commanders so we get Rommel back in command of somebody. You know what? It's fine. It's fine for right now. I like this as it is. And I don't think we're going to get these guys finished training, guys. Yeah, I don't have time to wait for it. All right, that's okay. Uh, that's fine. We're just going to put them over the front. I'm not going to wait any longer. I want to get this war started. And they still got to get their organization up. And good God, man, there's some loud-ass fucking vehicles. All right, where are the, the two? All right, these guys can stay training, I suppose, then, since they're over there. Yeah, we'll leave that. Uh, and then, did we make any adjustments to division designs that might need to be counted for? Okay, yeah, we know about those guys. I guess we didn't. The mountain divisions, that's what I changed, but I think that they didn't actually gain any manpower from that. I think they uh, use them less manpower so they don't they don't lose any experience. All right, so we're just gonna wait till they get over here, get them onto the front, get their organization back up. We won't wait for planning bonuses. We don't have time to wait for all that. Uh, but this will let us take a look at our air situation, uh, get these guys assigned. Uh, we're gonna want them probably assigned over here so we have at least some over there. Uh, in fact, let me take a look at what we got over here uh, before I do that. So we have these two close air support that can merge. We have a extra air wing of fighters here. All right. Yeah, I don't think we have any other planes sitting around. Nope. All right, that's okay. Uh, let me make sure there's none like sitting in colonies or something that might have uh, moved from like China or something. I don't think that's the case, but figured I might as well check. All right. So this is what we got to use, guys. Not a lot. I'm just gonna move these fighters over to here and we're gonna have them go over there so that we have all these guys with the exception of the tactical bomber over here doing close air support and close air support air superiority all right everybody but this guy here is going to be over here and there we go all right so it looks pretty good let's go and do more ground crews in both of those areas and might have too many fighters Okay, yeah, let's actually have these guys go here then and then the other fighter wing go here All right, so that looks pretty good. Let's just get them all moved around We're still waiting on these guys to get to their front to get the organization back up And yeah, we're gonna be declaring war on Poland here momentarily and hopefully this will go uh, Swimmingly They've got quite a few divisions across the front here. We're not doing anything really tricky guys. We're just gonna just attack them We don't have paratroopers to drop on them or anything like that uh, so we do need to get the civilian factories doing something. I guess we're gonna do one more dockyard, just so we get it up to nice round 20. And we'll build it right there in Hanover. All right, so we'll do that. Uh, we do need more military factories, so we'll go ahead and take care of that as well. Uh, and in fact, more air bases would be useful too, because we don't really have a lot of, well, we actually have air bases over here in the Netherlands that will work out fine. Yeah, that's fine. All right, let's just do more military factories in. And all these 80% locations. All right, excellent. All right, so I believe we're ready. Yeah, on the 21st of April, we will declare war on Poland. And you'll call all of our allies in. And we have declared war on the German Reich. Decisions available over here. Let's take a look at what's all available. It looks like give Himmler field command. All right, so we have another option here. Uh, and he becomes a field marshal. Okay, I wonder if he's decent as this. See, I haven't seen, I haven't played as Germany with any of these decisions available. Uh, so, yeah, I wonder if he's going to be any good. Does that pull him from, as an advisor? I don't remember which advisor slot he's in. He's right there. Yeah, I wonder if that would pull him from there. So having Heinrich Himmler is what allows for the foreign SS division choices. 
Okay, interesting. I wasn't aware of that when I selected him. Okay, uh, so that's that's interesting. I don't know if that would pull him off of from being able to you do that decision there. Huh. Yeah, I really don't know how that works, man. If we make him a field marshal, you'd assume, I mean, that it wouldn't because usually in the game it doesn't, you can have, you know, you, we've got Rommel right now. He's out commanding. He could be in here. So yeah, and I don't see anything about it removing him. And you can't even do it unless he's a political advisor. Well, we don't really need another Phil Marshall. We'll wait. We'll wait to do it, guys. Okay, so we're now at war here. Uh, let's go ahead and get this started. Uh, and I'm probably going to manually control this because I don't want the AI doing anything really stupid. And let's just see where the openings are. We want to try and cut off and destroy divisions. Let's avoid that fortification there if we can. Let's attack right here and try and get it behind. Get all these guys here destroyed. This is the opening that we're gonna attack right here to cut off these divisions. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what we'll do. So we'll go ahead and attack. Oh, we can't attack from there, Never mind. We need to attack from this location. I wish I had some tanks here. Uh, let's go ahead and have two of these guys attack here. And of course, Romania and Bulgaria and the Hungarians are called in. Let's go ahead and support that. And then we're gonna also try and close them off here to grab Danzig up, because you can see that they're currently attacking us there. Uh, they're attacking us across here, which is fine. I'm absolutely okay with them attacking if they want to. Throwing away their manpower and attacks. Uh, that will end up not going well for them. Let's go and attack over this way. Let's attack over this way. And we'll leave these guys where they're at. Here's going to be on the defense. Largely focusing on defense there. They're attacking all the way across the front. That's all right with me. Yeah, I'm absolutely fine with that. All right. Uh, and let's go ahead and also attack. Let's let's try and get this province wiped out just because it's it would open up a lot of... A lot of troops if we did. Alright, we have the attack there. Alright, so we should be able to win there pretty easily. Alright, so they're going to attack across here uh, as expected. And that's okay. I'm not too worried about that. Alright, so I really just want to cut off divisions and get them destroyed so we can do it as quickly as possible since we're probably trying to attack certain provinces and not others. We do have to win these defenses first. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab that province up. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that now. Take that motorized division, have them attack across there. And then let's go ahead and have these guys go this way here. Try and cut them off right there. Cut all those divisions off. I should probably just slow this down to speed three since we got a lot going on right now. And then let's go ahead and have these guys all support that attack. Try and take Danzig over here. And we could probably get a win right there. So let's go ahead and attack there. Supports. And... Yeah, they're looking pretty weak across this front now, guys. You can already see that Poland's done for. It's Poland, of course. It's not going to be a it's not going to be a super challenging conflict, of All course. Right. Uh, you know, as one would ex you know expect that it wouldn't be. Uh, not going to attack here just yet. I want to cut these guys off, but we're currently defending all, all across here. We're almost done with that. There we go. All right, so let's attack there with these four divisions here. If we're able to, we'll use those guys. But yeah, it doesn't look like that's going to be an opportunity. Let's go and attack. Uh, we'll send one division across here, one division over there, just trying to help out there. Uh, and still trying to finish that up there. Okay, let's get this tank division moving down here. Nope, that's not going to work without some assistance. Uh, okay, so that's not open. I'll have to let them do their thing and pull that back. Alright, uh, this one's open here. Let's attack. Grab that province. Okay. So, gonna get that province, but we're not able to cut them off yet, unfortunately. Yeah, that's not the way I wanted it to go. Damn it. Yeah, because you haven't got this wrapped up yet. Uh, we did take one province, but yeah, we gotta get these guys defeated here. So let's go ahead and attack these guys here. I know it's a fortification, just to free up this defense so I can hurry up and attack right there. All right, uh, Danzig, uh, we're gonna go ahead and attack uh, this way. I know that that's not optimum because there's a river there, but that's okay, because um, I'm gonna be able to assist with those divisions there. Right, let's go and attack. Yeah, I don't know why I keep thinking that these provinces here are connected. They're, they are not connected. Uh, and here, let's attack right there. And they are attempting to get behind us, but we're about to get in division there, and I think we should get them there before them. Yeah, there's no way they'll beat that motorized division. Uh, and we are winning right there as well. All right, excellent. So we're just gonna focus on Poland first, and then we'll go after Lithuania after we're done here. Uh, as that would obviously be the best way to do this, I think. I uh, do sure. think we could probably win here. Nope. Let's pull it back. It's not going to be a win, but we might be able to win there. Yeah, that's a win. All right, so these guys have been cut off. Excellent. Let's go and get them destroyed now. Attack. Right. 
attack them all the way across here. Have these guys finish this up this way as well. Alright, so should be able to wrap that up fairly quickly. Have those divisions attack this way. And these guys are still defending. Just gonna attack over this way, kinda help them out. Alright, fantastic. Okay, so these guys are actually stronger right than I was expecting. It, it's that's the reason why. It's this little province right here. Alright, that makes sense. I was wondering why the hell I couldn't attack them there. Uh, so let's go ahead and go this way, because that's wide open. A weak ass division right there. Alright, uh, so yeah, they're, they're throwing their their uh, manpower away on really silly attacks, as the AI typically does, which is the reason why I'm manually controlling this. And I don't want them to do it to me, to my troops. Throw it away. Throw all our manpower away on really dumbass attacks. Let's attack over that way. Alright, so almost wrap those divisions up over there. And yeah, this is going quite well. Uh, though I actually want to cut off here, so maybe I shouldn't be attacking over that way. Uh, you know what we'll do? open the Danzig up so that these guys can get out of here. These, this One of these divisions will go there. Let's just send this guy there. So we put more troops down here uh, where we really can use them. And yeah, because this front is kind of wide right now. A little bit wider than I'd like. So we do have some stuff that we need to take care of. I also want to show you guys that you know we do have control of the skies as, as expected. Though they have put all their planes in one area here. Uh, so they are challenging us for air superiority, but we still we do still control the skies right now We have another decision available over here. Uh, it's not that one not the permit It's this one uh, emergency factory uh, conversion that we don't want to do uh, We do also have some military factories to get assigned. So we'll go ahead and take care of that real quick Let me just take a look at what we're lacking the most uh, anti-tanks is kind of not in a great situation So we'll pump them in anti-tanks. I suppose uh, Yeah, we'll just do five into anti-tanks all right, uh, so looking pretty good across there. I don't know if they're going to send their ships out here to challenge our, our exercising ships. Hopefully not. Uh, we also have a tank that's currently done here, so let's go ahead and move him. Uh, let's put him into uh, which army could use him the most. Let's put him into this army, I suppose. All right. So I don't know if that we'll be able to cut off any more divisions. I was trying to cut off right here, but as you see, that's not quite going the way I'd like. Uh, yeah, but we're going to try and get to there. And also, Warsaw is pretty open right now. Let's see if we can't win, and then attack these guys to lock them down. Yeah, that's how we'll do that. Also, let's attack across here. I know it's a river, but that's all right. Uh, and then we're gonna go this way. Lock those guys down. Uh, we gotta fight some cab divisions. Well, that's a shame. They're attempting to cut us off here. Uh, we'll just send this guy in if we can. It looks like we cannot. How much longer do we have till he gets there? Oh, it's three days. All right, yeah, we don't have to worry about that at all. I'm gonna take these guys, attack over here. And then we can go ahead and launch this attack here. I will send both of them in. All right, excellent. I think these guys will be able to win this attack as well. Maybe not. <laughs> Didn't realize they had to go that way first. Let's go and grab that province up. It's wide fuck open. Let's go and have all these guys attack here. And we'll see if we can't close this off here. Uh, about to get Warsaw. And also there's an opening here. So let's just go and send all the divisions into it. All right, so trying to get all the Red Army troops up to this front here. Let's go and take that province there. All right, let's get these troops going over here once open. And yeah, I'd love to just cut them off and destroy them, make this a little bit easier. Let's see if we can't make that happen. Let's go attack them this way. All you guys are gonna go over here. You guys gonna lock them down. And grab that province there. An ace pilot promoted. Who dares win? All right, so. Almost got this wrapped up. Warsaw will be in our hands, hopefully momentarily here. Haven't cut them off yet, unfortunately. <laughs> I was really hoping to get that done, but that has not gone quite as smoothly as I would have liked. Uh, let's just pull this back. This is clearly not working. Let's support there and send the vision over that way. Okay, and we're gonna just reduce the front here. That's unnecessary, I feel, having those guys there. All right, so still trying to get these guys cut off. Uh, and what I'll do here is, can we attack right here? Yeah, we'll just have them attack right there, and that's where we'll cut them off. All right, Warsaw's on our hands. Excellent. Good news. Uh, one of our divisions got cut off. Unfortunately, two of our divisions got cut off. All right, because we didn't have enough troops over here on this front. Uh, so let's go and attack them over there, get them reconnected. Uh, Warsaw has fallen. We just got our armored spearhead as well. Excellent. Uh, do we want to go out to the next one? Probably not. Uh, I think we should probably work on some other stuff. Plus, we have, you know, uh, quite a few more uh, bonuses towards 
uh, getting land doctrine. So we want to make sure that we get to use all those. And frankly, there's a lot of 1939 text that we need to get, guys. So we've we've pretty much finished up over here for the most part. So I think uh, we need to get artillery and yeah, that's what we need to do, as well as support. Uh, so let's do the the field hospital twos. I love me some field hospitals. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna attack over here as well. Let's push forward here. All right. So we won't beat Poland quite as quickly as they're beaten historically, unfortunately. But we'll have them beat fairly quick here, guys. I'm just fucking irritated I wasn't, wasn't able to grab that city because we're being locked down here. I almost want to go and attack here across the river just to so I can hurry up and grab that province because they're there. Uh, they just can't can't move because they're currently being attacked. Uh, expeditionary force from the Hungarians. This decline because the war's already almost done. We have already reconnected these troops. Excellent. Let's go and attack there. Er, no, attack with those guys then. Let's have these guys go over this way. Uh, we could go and start pushing forward here. It looks like they might have even taken a division or a uh, bit of territory from us. I'm not entirely sure on that front. Uh, let's go and attack this way. Nah, that's not going to work. All right, we'll just wait. There's not enough divisions over here to really do anything. Do we have to defeat just Poland? Yeah, we just defeat Poland. I don't know if that'll allow us to take their territory over. I don't know how that will end up working, actually, because if we haven't taken any of their territory... You see the Soviets are helping them, so that's not good. Uh, damn you, Soviet Union. Damn you. Uh, these guys are done training. Uh, I think they were over here on this front, but let's go ahead and put them over here. I don't need them on that check front. We need them over there. Uh, so let's get them moving over there so they can kind of help us out so maybe we can actually push forward there. All right, so yeah, Warsaw's in our hands. Still have not been able to complete this. Let's go ahead and attack those guys there so that we can maybe get this done. Because uh, they just keep on sending divisions over there, man. And I'm trying to cut these divisions off. That's why I'm not launching attacks here, guys. Maybe we'll do it right there then. And then we'll just send like one division over to here to make sure they can't, can't uh, reinforce it. Uh, we can't go and grab uh, some provinces here. Let's go and grab that one. And, yeah, looking pretty good. Uh, yeah, these tanks are just remarkably fast, man. Let's go and attack over this way. Grab that province up. Yeah, still haven't been able to wrap this up, though. That's just fucking sorry, dude. It's just sorry, guys. Alright. Alright, let's go and grab the new capital. In fact, we should probably send one division over there. And just that guy grab it. He's nice and fast. So if we had put the AI in control, it would have already been done. Um, but it, we would have lost. We would have took higher losses. Uh, I do want to take a look what our casualties are before we end this. Uh, we have taken uh, some of their military factories. So let's go in and get those assigned. Uh, I feel like we could probably put them into the planes a bit more. Yeah, let's build a bit more planes here. Could use more of those. And probably some other equipment that we're short on. Uh, support equipment and infantry equipment and anti-tanks. We just put in anti-tanks. We got a lot going to infantry equipment. A lot going to support as well. Uh, and I suppose we'll just do those two into there. All right. Uh, we do need to trade for some more tungsten from the Chinese. Go and take care of that. Uh, and then let's go and before we finish this, this conflict, let's take a look at what, what the situation is as far as casualties goes. We lost 27,000. They've lost 328,000. I haven't even looked to see how Romania is doing down here. Uh, yeah, they've taken a little bit of territory, I think. Yeah, uh, just a little bit. They haven't done much, honestly. We weren't expecting much from them, though. Uh, and we still haven't got these fucking guys cut off, man. Good grief. Maybe we'll do it this way. I don't know. It's a surprise. We haven't got them cut off. I've been trying to. We can destroy them. Right, Hasn't gone quite the way I'd like. All right, so they have actually taken a bit of territory here, but that'll allow us to uh, maybe cut them off here. And let's go and attack these guys there. Kind of help out in that defense or whatever. All right. Warsaw is completely undefended, of course. We haven't uh, defended it. They could easily cut these divisions off. The things they could do right now if they so desired, but yeah, they, they won't do them. All right, so let's go ahead and have these guys go over here. Grab that province for us. And I think that should end up being the win. And I never did cut these guys off. That is so fucking sorry, man. <laughs> There's just so many of them. That's why. I think this is where we're going to get it here, which is these two uh, provinces. Let's go and push forward here. Let these guys push forward there. And then we're going to go ahead and do an attack here. Uh, There's just a lot, of, a lot of divisions here, man. On this side of things. I don't know why they focus so hardcore on this, this side. Uh, so... 
the the fact that the uh, that the uh, Soviets over here is problematic. Let's go and pump this like this. Make sure these guys are here, and we'll have them support. And I just want to get into the, the battle with them to make sure that that we can actually take over territory from them. I think we need to take like a province or two of theirs. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how that works. All right, so we have taken this province, taken that province as well. I'm actually surprised they haven't capitulated just yet. Let's just take a look. Uh, 76%, uh, so we still got a little bit more time. And, and that's because we got this long strip here that I've been trying to not attack so that I can cut them off. And it's just gone terribly. I'm like shocked at how fucking crappy we've done on that. Uh, that has not gone the way I'd like. This will attack here. That's just enough, and I don't think they're cut off yet. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but you know what? Let's just go ahead and send the attacking, guys. Let's just get these guys attacking now. I'm done with it. Alright, it's fine. And let's just go and reduce these guys down to here. In fact, we could just go and delete that one. Take these guys that were on that front and have them all go over here. Alright. Lovely. I don't know why some of them are moving over that way. Uh, but it's Oh, did I do... Oh, lord. Yeah, I fucked that up, didn't I? Somehow I fucked that shit up. Alright, my bad, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and have... I guess the bottom ones, the ones all down here. I think it was... Yeah, these five divisions I just reassigned. There we go. Alright. That should fix it. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and take this province here. It's wide open. I'm gonna go ahead and launch an attack there. Uh, and let's go and attack here as well. I'm just trying to, to keep the casualty numbers down overall. I'm not really, it's not about winning quickly here. It's more about like not taking uh, casualties or losing too much equipment. So doing like smart attacks. Uh, we got more uh, factories. Let's go and get these guys assigned here. Let's try and build up on some of the stuff we're lacking. And you know what? I'm going to go and put another five into the, the infantry equipment as well. And the tungsten, man. Thank God for the Chinese. All right, let's go and launch an attack here. Have them support, and just barely a win. All right, uh, and we'll launch an attack right there. These guys here are trying to cut us off, so I'll attack them there. Stop that shit, stop the madness. We'll attack there as well, once again, just trying to lock these guys down for right now. Wait until we get all our troops over here. I think we have launched enough of an attack here to, to now be able to, to take territory if we wanted. Let's get those guys moving. These guys come over here. And got construction three. Excellent. Let's go and do excavation three. Alright, and yeah, there's not really anything on that side of things. Uh, I just didn't put enough divisions over there. Uh, we had this huge mass of blue army over here just waiting, not doing anything. Uh, yeah. So I think once we get lots, uh, that will be enough to get the win there. Go and grab that province there, and I don't want to attack across the river here, so we can avoid that by grabbing that province. Oh, and of course they attacked us. Fuck you. All right, let's go ahead and have these guys attack up that way. And yeah, currently just defending. I uh, don't really have a lot of fronts for the blue army right now, uh, so that's kind of a problem. So let's go and give these guys a couple fronts because I don't know where the hell they're going right now. Make sure we have one front here. These guys all get assigned to it. And then the rest of them, which will be one, two, three, four, five. Let's go ahead and give them a front right down here. All right. So that we can uh, get these dudes here wrapped up. Shouldn't take long to wrap them up. And advanced submarine warfare, excellent. So do we want to go ahead and continue down this? To get the last one, a lot of good bonuses there. Uh, rating efficiency, submarine surface detection, uh, and that would probably be the last one we get. And we could use our experience to get it in 110 days. So yeah, we'll do that. Knock that out. Uh, and let's go ahead and have these troops come over here. So we can attack these two. And you guys are gonna attack them this way. Although, that's not actually gonna work. All right, so Poland's just about wrapped up, guys. Uh, it shouldn't take much longer to get them knocked out here. Uh, we were not effective in that attack because there's just too many divisions over there, but it's all right. 
Uh, and yeah, we were able to hold this out somehow. I have no idea how they didn't cut me off here. Uh, Cause yeah, I was wide the fuck open for them to do so. Let's go and get these guys moving forward here. And yeah, this is all wide open now. Let's go and put the motorized divisions down. We'll let these guys here leave. Uh, let's have to grab that. And when do they get out of here? 22 hours, so we're we'll gonna let them complete their retreat. And shit capitulate any damn moment now, guys. So I'm gonna send all these guys over this way. All right, and then you guys are gonna come over to that other blue front. All right, so let's go and send the tanks over here. Take one infantry division to go that way. Lock those units down, have that guy go over here. Get those guys destroyed. Uh, actually, attack that way. There we go, that one's open, and I think that'll be the victory that we need. Uh, we can't go in and get our aircraft designer, so we're gonna do that. I know that we, we have some time before we get to 1940, but I wanna make sure that we have this, uh, so let's go in and get it, guys. Uh, we're gonna do, I haven't actually looked at which one we're gonna do just yet, probably the, the fighter one uh, to get that agility and max speed. I don't know why we'd do any other ones. Uh, naval bombers would be super helpful, since we're gonna be relying on them quite a bit to try and destroy the Royal Air Force. But you know what, guys? We really need to control the, the skies, so let's get the agility. That's very powerful, so we'll get that. Make sure nobody else is uh, willing to join the faction. Alright. Let's go ahead and knock out some attacks here. There we go. And... Did we not win yet? Uh, so we got two more factories. Let's go ahead and put these in, too. Let's take a look. Still need a ton of anti-tanks, surprisingly. All right, I guess we'll go up to 15 for anti-tanks because I'd really like to get this done. Get those anti-tanks completed. I'm gonna attack there, help that tank out since he's having a little bit of difficulty. Attack right there as well. And this is open, so let's go and use that motorized division. And let's go and attack right there as well. Attack cross here, cross here. There we go. Yeah, I'm surprised that uh, they put up this hard of a fight. I mean, it's it's part of it's also because I haven't been uh, the most efficient on some of these attacks here. Uh, but yeah, we are done here. Um, I, I wish I could see how many casualties we'd lost. I don't think it was many though, guys. I think we did pretty damn good as far as casualties go. I think maybe 50,000 at most uh, would be my guess. Uh, so it was the most cost-effective way of doing this. But yeah, it ended up taking a lot longer than I was expecting it to. Uh, but, but that's because of that pickle strip. That took me forever. That was ridiculous. To get those guys cut off, I should have just attacked. If I had known that it was going to take that long, I would have. Uh, and then that would have freed up that entire blue army. So that's the reason why it took so damn long. But anyway, Poland's defeated. Lithuania's defeated. Let's go ahead and just... I don't know that we'll be able to completely annex them right away. I might have to do... Let's see. Nah. Can't. All right. Uh, let's just go ahead. Well, I don't want to pass. Because then they might be able to take some shit. So let's make sure we get all of the territory that we can here. And we can get quite a bit, but that 600 that I asked for was apparently too much. All right, so we can get 500 something. And Memo, no. All right, so let's go and end our turn. And damn it, <laughs> I knew they were gonna do some stupid shit over here. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, so they did something dumb there. Should have expected them to do something stupid, our, our allies here. Shit. All right, yeah, that's that's unfortunate, man. Maybe I shouldn't have pulled them into the war, because yeah, now they're gonna do dumb stuff. I don't think they're able to complete anything else, but we gotta wait. <sighs> Never mind, I did everything in the conflict. So that sucks. <laughs> so we got this here, all weird and shit. Oh, I missed one. Yeah, so that's that's a bummer. All right, well, nothing to be done about it. So who who is this here? Uh, Belarus, and they are a puppet of Romania, which Romania is gonna be our puppet soon, so I guess that'll give us control of that, I suppose. But yeah, that's a shame, man. Didn't want that to go that way, guys. Uh, damn it, I'm not trying to be in the Air Force mode. Uh, it's not any resources or anything like that, not really even in factories for that matter, but yeah, just not the way I wanted that to go. Uh, but yeah, that's actually going to be the end of the episode, guys. That's all I really wanted to do for this one is get the Polish war uh, situated. Uh, so next, well, let's take a look at our focus tree. You know, obviously we're integrating war economies right now. Uh, we can do the around the Maginot uh, to go ahead and get Belgium knocked out of the conflict. 
They'll likely join the Allies, though, and we might be able to avoid war with the Allies uh, for a little while. What I want to do is attack Italy next. They're exposed. Uh, they're over here in France, completely exposed, and I think that might be the best option is to attack the Italians uh, next to make sure that the French aren't knocked out of the war. Uh, and we could also just straight up go after the French as well and then go after the Italians. Uh, that's an option too because that doesn't bring us into the war with the Allies because the French are no longer in the Allies and the French Alliance here. Uh, so that's something we can do. Uh, attack the French first, but that would require us to attack Belgium. Uh, be, uh, yeah, because there's no real way. Yeah, I don't see any other way to do that, guys. Yeah, we would have to attack Belgium uh, because, I mean, the Maginot is wide open. There's nobody on the Maginot, but you know they'll correct that. Yeah, eventually. Uh, how long would it take to get, like, a claim or whatever? 35 days, that's not a long time. We could just do claims on both, on Italy and France, and then see what the situation looks like if the French move troops to this border here. Because if they don't, then we can invade through the Maginot and then go straight to Paris. Uh, that's an option, too. I guess that would be the best one. Uh, the best option would be to get France knocked out and then Italy. Yeah. Yeah, I think that would be the best one. Uh, Italy's probably wide open, too, though, so we can also declare war on them and start invading their territory uh, as well. Uh, so... In fact, why don't you post your guys' opinion down in the comments below. Who do you think we should go after first? Do you think we should go after Italy or France? love to hear your opinion. Uh, remember, they're both... Uh, well, Italy's not even in a faction right now. Uh, so, I don't know if that could affect anything. They can't join the Allies. I highly doubt they'll join the Comintern. So they probably won't pull anybody in. It's such a bummer they haven't got their, their focus tree done yet. So that they could have Spain in it and all that kind of good stuff. That would have been interesting. But, yeah, it doesn't look like that's going to happen, man. Because the Italians fucked that shit all up. Maybe that's one argument to go for France first so that the Italians can try and get Spain into the faction so we'll fight them as well. Uh, but yeah, France, it would just be them. Uh, there's nobody else. Yugoslavia has already been defeated. Uh, so, so yeah, maybe that'd be the best way to do it, attack France. Yeah, I'm leaning towards that one, guys. Sorry about the helicopter going overhead. I don't know if you can hear that. But yeah, I'm leaning towards that. Uh, let's see if, uh, if we get a claim against them if they pump troops over here. Uh, if they do, then I don't know how I get around them without attacking Belgium. Uh, which the bad thing about that, as I said, would result in them probably joining the Allies, which would bring the Allies in. And I'm trying to fight France without having to fight Britain yet, because it would just be uh, it'd be interesting to get them completely annexed, uh, and and Britain still not be in the war. Uh, but then it would just be Britain and Japan, right? Yeah, it'd be Britain and Japan. But that would give us time also to get more troops over here to the colonies, which I'm not seeing any British troops here now. Uh, so now it's wide open. That's interesting, because before it was well defended. Also, it seems all of our troops are here, are done. So let's go ahead and get those guys going there. And then these ones here are going to go into this this army, I think. I think this is just our, our colonial, colonial army here uh, where that's defending. Uh, yeah, it looks wide the fuck open right now. Britain must be concentrating on the Italians, I suppose, as well as Australia and all their, all their puppets. All right, so uh, why is it still called the Loyalists? You think it would be... It'd be done here. Yeah, that's interesting. And yeah, it's not wrapped up yet. Maybe because I gotta get the, the the fascism up. It's at forty three percent right now. Uh, but yeah, the war with what, Poland's over. Uh, we we didn't take too many casualties. Didn't go too too bad. Took a little bit longer than than expected. Uh, we we declared war on April twenty first, and we finished it up in what was that? Did we just finish it? Did I play it at all? I don't think I played it at all. Uh, so yeah, I think we finished up in June. So it took us oh. About a month and a half, not even quite a month and a half, about five to six weeks. So unfortunately, a little bit slower than than what's done historically in the month that it took. I was trying to trying to do it about historical time, but yeah, it didn't make it, guys. Five to six weeks is a little bit longer. Uh, so, but still went well, I'd say, uh, considering I suppose uh, just just could have been faster, uh, and we didn't take many casualties, so that's good. So that is the end of the episode. Next episode, we'll be getting ready for war with France or Italy. I don't know if it'll be declared that episode or not. Uh, I, I would imagine so because it's only 35 days to get the claim. Uh, and then we'll have to move our troops and get planning d done and all that kind of good stuff. But yeah, I don't see any reason why we wouldn't be able to get the war started there. And we're just going to ignore Czechoslovakia for right now. I mean, we could declare war on them. They're in the Allies, though. So yeah, that would bring all the Allies in. I'm trying to avoid it. They would be easily conquered because now we completely wrap around all their territory, so they're screwed. Uh, so yeah, we could easily get them knocked out. But yeah, I don't want to go to war with Allies just yet. So yeah, I don't think we're going to do that. 
Uh, instead, we're going to uh, do either France or Italy. So if you enjoyed the episode, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, leave a comment. Hope to see you on the next episode, and thanks for watching, guys.